but it's a big one. This is a big fish. The freaking monster one. Look at this view, guys. What's up, guys? Welcome to Jordan Michael Fishing. Let's see if we can pull some snakes out of this water here. This is going to be an area where we're going to be fishing a lot upcoming video in upcoming videos, guys. There's the Chesapeake Bay. Here's this canal here, right here, and we're going to be fishing right in there, guys. Stay tuned. Should be a good one. I know they're in here. Look at this view, guys. This is freaking awesome. Be sure to subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you guys don't miss out on upcoming videos. We got this coming up, guys. Look at this. So in this episode, we're fishing a very, very cool spot. We got the Chesapeake Bay itself, right here. And right here, we got this washover. And I'm not gonna get too close because I'm about to fish here, but man, let's go. Let's see what we can do. About all we can do is throw our lines in the water, right? We're gonna be fishing with a chatterbait, white. And we're also gonna be fishing with a frog. Got the Xfinity Speed Spool, it was made by Lewis. It's the Xfinity uh, version, right handed, 75 to 1 ratio. Then I got a Boot Garcia Black Max. This is a cheap reel, guys, but a cheap uh, rod. Um, but it has done me right this year, I'll tell you that. And uh, it's a 6 4 to 1 ratio. It's perfect for chatterbait fishing. Let's get started. It's about to be a good day, folks. Just have a feeling. If you have a spot like this around your way, definitely go and fish it. Because this is where they are, guys. Especially if it's a tributary off the Chesapeake Bay, the Tuxent River, Potomac River, any places like that, definitely go and fish it. surface. Nice one too. I say this all the time guys. Always cast more than once in the same spot. Follow my lure guys, you can see the snake heads, snake pattern going through the water. That fish's nose is right on that frog. He's staying right with it, he just won't engage. It happens like that sometimes. But this is a perfect example of casting more than one time in one spot. He went and hit it. Do you guys see that? So I moved to a new spot. But remember guys, always cast these shorelines. It's very important because they will sit in this grass all day long and eat anything that comes by them. Look closely and focus on the center of the screen. We're about to see a snakehead come up. And what he's doing is, he's rising to the surface because he wants to see what's going on on top of the surface. Like, my frog. He wants to see what's going on with that frog. Really big snakehead. Really big snakehead. Just came up right in front of me.
and watch as he just swims right away. Really big. Oh, I see another dude. They just keep surfacing. Really big snake. You guys saw that on camera too. game plan so instead of starting at the beginning of the pond I'm going all the way to the end of the pond where it's draining into the bay so stay tuned and let's see what happens I'm staying back. Make sure you stay back, you know, when you first get to a spot. Oh my god, it's a freaking monster one! Let's go! Let's go! That was my first cast! Let's go! Oh my gosh. Look at that fish, guys! Ah, I got another one. Look what he hit, guys. <laughs> what is that? What is that? A white chatterbait. Dude, it's a big one. This is a big fish. See, that place I fish, usually that you guys see me fishing at, it don't provide fish like this. This is a freaking just, you know, it's my first one I've ever caught here. But I've been fishing here for a long a while. Oh yeah. Just look at the back on that fish. It's five inches wide, guys. Oh my god, it's it's a heavy, heavy fish, guys. This is a heavy fish and it's starting to rain. Watch him walk. And he knows exactly where he wants to go to. Freaking dragon. It's definitely a 30 inch fish. I fished this place for five hours earlier and look what I did. Right before the sun goes down, it's 645. What I did, I came back. First cast, dragon. It produces. You gotta stay consistent to catch these fish. I'm trying to tell you guys, stay consistent. You'll get one. You will get one, I promise. So stay consistent, man. Just stay consistent. And watch my videos. I wasn't trying to get dirty this evening, buddy. I'm sorry.
Where you don't just be bay baby. What? <laughs> sure you hook your grippers good now, guys. Don't just hook the, the edge of their lip. The edge of their lip will rip. You gotta hook down in there. Guys, when I say it, it's a dragon, I mean, its head, it's, it's got a huge, nice head on her. Let me go uh, on him. I mean, let me go rinse him off. A dragon in my eyes is any snake head over 30 me. inches. When it hit, I thought maybe I hit a log with the kicking yank. Hit my feeding window, guys. I hit my feeding window. Oh, yes. My first one down here. First. Hard work pays off, man. Look at that head on that fish, guys. I'm gonna open that mouth. So to cam your teeth. Oh yeah. Hard work pays off, man. I'm telling you, work hard. Get out there and do this. Some of the best fishing in the world, man. This is the same spot where we saw the one come up and hit the surface today. It's right left to where I just caught that big fish now, at. These weed lines, guys. Just watch closely. About to get something coming up. As soon as they hit, they want to go right back in that weed line, so it's your job. You got to get them out of that weed line, or this happens. It's very hard to do that when they're that close. Got another one. It's definitely feeding time, guys. Like, this is literally right after I caught that big fish, being loud and everything. So... It's definitely feeding time. Watch the frog, guys. We should. I have a feeling we're going to get another one. I really do. What's up? I'm fishing. I'll call. I just caught a dragon. Now I'll call you back in a little bit. All right, bye. What I'm doing is I'm skipping this frog up underneath that poppas grass, and what that does is it draws them out. Sometimes you got to do it a couple times before they actually come out of that grass. He missed it. He missed it.
got a hit there. Man, I could have caught three snakeheads in, you know, an hour. So now I'm at the beginning of this where it opens up. The canal is to my left and what I'm fishing now is just the opposite side of the same exact bank that I was just fishing prior when I just got that last bite. So let's see what happens. I'm bringing my rod tip down and towards the bank, keeping my chatterbait as close to that bank as possible. Ah, I got another one. Let's go! Definitely don't happen like this guys. This is days and days, months. Two months of fishing here. But I can honestly say that I never put the right time in at this spot. Today I came back twice and you see what happens. So stay consistent guys. You know they're there. Keep on fishing. Got about a 20 incher here. This is days and days and days of fishing, guys. You have no idea. That's why I'm so excited. Get out there and fish, guys. Get out there and fish. Oh, he was barely hooked. He's got cartilage here. Little guy. Woohoo! All right, guys, it's getting that time. It's getting dark. We're on the Chesapeake Bay, baby. But look, please like, share, and subscribe. The gear I'm using is in the description below. And thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to see you guys in my comments, and uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you so much for watching. Jordan Michael Fishing. See ya.